Hey guys, I'm back with a new video. In this video, we'll cover yet another important core module of Python standard library, which is OS. Now, the OS module in Python provides us a suite of functionalities for interacting and working with the operating system, and is one of the core modules of the Python standard library. Now, let us learn about some of the most important methods that you can make use of for OS module. So, first, let us talk about creating a new directory. Now, in order to create a new directory, we have the mkdir method that the OS module exposes. So to see this in action, let us go back to our editor. So back in my editor, what I will do is I will first import the OS module. And then to create a new directory, I can say os.mkdir. And here I will define a path. So I will say d directory and then colon backslashes and then nerds. And now let us run the file by saying python os module dot py press enter now the file execution went successful so let us check whether we do have a file created in our d directory so back in my d directory you can see we are getting a directory which is nodes which is currently empty so this folder is empty so now if i go back to the d directory you can see that we are having a new folder in name nodes so what happened in this case was that a new folder or you can say a directory corresponding to the D path got created which is nerds. So now let us see how we can change our current working directory using the OS module. So for that we have the chdir method which stands for change our current working directory. So let's go back to our editor and try this method. So back in my editor I can say os.chdir. So I'm changing my current working directory to D and to the nerds folder and let us run the file. So we already have a folder named as nerds. So this command will not work again if the file gets executed. So let us comment this out and now let us try the command. Now in order to confirm whether our current working directory has been changed or not, I can make use of the get cwd method of the OS module. And this will give us the current working directory. So back in my editor, I can say print os dot get current working directory, which is cwd. And this is a method. So now let us run the file by saying, and now you can see our current working directory is d colon backslash nerds. So now let us comment the entire code above. Now what if I want to set the current working directory to the parent directory. So we can make use of the chdir method and I can say os.chdir that means change your working directory to the parent directory which is represented by dot dot. And now let us run the file. Now to confirm whether the current working directory got changed to the parent directory I can say print os.get current working directory. And now let us run the file and you can see so now the current working directory the folder in which this os module.py file is sitting in and we said that we want to change the current working directory to the parent directory which is this file path which points to the python tutorials folder which holds the folder in which this os module.py file is sitting in so now creating a directory and changing the current working directory is clear what if I want to remove a directory? So in order to delete a directory, we have the rmdir method that can take on the absolute path or the relative path of the directory. Now as a side note, you cannot remove the current working directory and for a directory to be removed, we need to ensure that it is empty. So back in my Visual Studio code. So let us comment this code out and let us create a blank directory just for the demonstration purpose. So for that, I will again use the mkdir method of the OS module so I can say os.mkdir and this will be a games folder and what will happen in this case is that we are creating a new directory games which will get defined in our current working directory in which our OS module.py file is sitting in so to verify the current working directory right before running this command I can say os.get current working directory and let us run the file so you can see the current working directories python tutorial slash 
Python OS module and in this folder which is Python OS module which is labeled by 22 number we have now created a directory which is named as games and if I try to change my directory to games from the terminal you can see it works because we are now having a directory games which is sitting in our python os module folder so let's go back so now you can see we are having a games directory that got newly created in the python os modules folder and now since this folder is empty we can easily remove it so let us comment this out in order to prevent it from getting executed again so i can say os.rmdir and pass on this name of the directory and now let us run the file by saying python os module.py and in order to verify that the file got deleted or not let us try to change the directory to games from a terminal and you can see it says no such file or directory the directory got removed from the python os module folder so had the games folder been filled with other files the command would not have worked so let me show you this what i will do is i will comment this out and uncomment the make directory games folder so let us run the file by saying python os module dot py and if i try to navigate to the games directory you can see it works because a new directory got created so we do have the games directory now in our python os module folder now inside the python os module folder and inside the games folder which is sitting adjacent to our os module.py file if here in this folder i define a new file and name it as gamer.py and let us print a simple statement to say i am a gamer so now you can see in our games directory we do have a file and the condition for deleting our directory is that it should be empty so if i go back to my os module.py file and comment this out because we have created the directory and try to remove the directory which is games and run the file you can see now we are getting an os error because it says that the directory is not empty because our directory contains the gamer.py file so it is non-empty and hence it is not getting deleted now let us add some exception handling for this and to handle this what you can do is you can use the try catch or try accept block like this and here you can try to remove the directory games and if you get an os error you can log that to the terminal so print os error oe and then the finally block print done so this is how you can handle the exception and we have seen this in the exception handling video if you are not aware of the concept the link for that video can be found down below and now let us empty our games directory so i will delete this file move it to recycle bin and now you can see our games directory is empty and if i now try to remove our directory which is the games directory and run the file you can see it says done let us verify whether it did succeed or not so you can see the games directory is no longer there it got removed so now let us see how we can get the list of files and directories in our specified directory so here i can say listing the files and directories of a specified directory so i can say os.list.dir and i will say c directory and the users directory and let us wrap this in the print statement and run the file and now you can see we are getting the list of all the files and directories in my users directory getting logged in form of a list to our terminal so this was all i wanted to cover about the os module 
If you want to learn more on OS module, feel free to check out the Python official docs, though I have covered some of the most important methods that you must know. So if you like the video, do give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon for all the upcoming uploads, and I will see you guys in the next one.